Attorney General William Barr tried to put an end to perhaps the ultimate cover-up ever attempted by a President of the United States. Now Barr auditioned for this role with Trump and we have seen his command performance to protect Trump and his presidency at all costs, including perhaps his own reputation. Special Counsel Robert Mueller's narrowly charged purpose was to investigate and prove beyond a reasonable doubt whether Russia interfered in the 2016 presidential election and whether Trump or his campaign had co coordinated and conspired with the Russian government to do just that. The Mueller report makes it clear that, uh, that beyond a doubt, Russia and its government did a great deal to interfere in the 2016 presidential election and get Donald Trump elected. The report does not lay to rest all the questions of uh, the legitimacy of this presidency that have dogged Donald Trump ever since uh, election night. Now Barr's press conference, uh, a legal defense of the president surely, was like driving a stake into the heart of the American democracy and the separation of powers. Barr repeated no collusion. No collusion multiple times. Sound familiar? See, collusion is not the crime. All this means is that Mueller could not find proof beyond a reasonable doubt to bring criminal charges. Now let's not forget how many of Trump's aides were convicted and are already serving sentences for crimes including perjury, witness tampering, and obstruction of justice. On the advice of counsel, the president would not sit in person with an interview with the uh, Mueller team. Instead, as he was advised by counsel, he answered some prepared remarks, clearly answered by his own lawyers. However, he stated more than 30 times, I do not recall, I cannot remember. This so-called method of cooperation by the president makes it almost impossible to prove criminal intent. When Trump learned that uh, Mueller's appointment was happening, he proclaimed that, that this would be the end of his presidency. And he immediately asked his uh, White House counsel to fire Robert Mueller and the counsel decided not to obey his boss. Now, this is just one of 10 instances of possible obstruction of justice detailed in the report. It also seems clear that Robert Mueller did consider the Department of Justice principle that a sitting president cannot be indicted, which contradicts Barr's presentation. However, it also seems clear that Mueller recognized this would probably be a better role for Congress. What is most disturbing about the report is, is the outrageous conduct of Donald Trump and whether he is fit to serve. Is the bar so low that the president gets a free pass if his conduct does not meet the test of a criminal standard of proof? It is clear Robert Mueller and his team prepared summaries that could have been released to the public weeks ago. However, Team Trump uh, took this extra time along with an advantage of having a copy of the Mueller report. I guess to spin, to spin that message to uh, Trump's base. Now Barr misled the American people about the serious misconduct of the President of the United States and his involvement with Russia. A complex, long-term involvement with Russia 
and Mr. Putin. And we cannot forget, Robert Mueller uh, was very clear. This report did not exonerate the president. However, Barr certainly tried to do so. It is not Barr's job. It is the job of Congress to hold the president accountable. And this is not the end of Donald Trump's troubles, I, I'm afraid, or his possible legal jeopardy, or the end of the Russia story, certainly. In light of the deeply disturbing conduct of this president, the days of reckoning for Congress are now here. And Congress now needs to, uh, to decide whether this conduct constitutes high crimes and misdemeanors worthy of impeachment, or whether they have the political courage to stop this president. This is John Christopher Buer for Real Political News, Washington.